Hi, my name is Paul Young. I'd like to draw a picture for you. Jesus said, be sure to enter in at the narrow gate. He said the way that leads to life is narrow, and just a few people find it. He said the way that leads to destruction is wide, and a lot of people go that way, Jesus said. Now you see I have two roads, a little narrow road. It has just a little gate. Just a few people ever make it through that gate. This wide road also has a wide gate. And a lot of people go through the gate. Now where do these roads lead? Well, Jesus said the narrow road leads to life. Jesus often preached about eternal life, about heaven. The Bible tells about that heavenly city. It has a wall of jasper around it and other beautiful colored precious stones in the foundation. Hey, this is a heavenly city, grander than anything you ever saw here. The wall is a wall of jasper. The city itself is a city of gold. Man, gold is so expensive it costs thousands of rand. Or just a little tiny piece of gold. Old city's made of gold. The streets are paved with pure gold. I cannot show you how beautiful this heavenly city is. I cannot even show you how big it is. It's more than 2,000 kilometers long. More than 2,000 kilometers wide. More than 2,000 kilometers high. I'm just drawing a little edge, a little corner of the heavenly city. In this city, there's the tree of life. It has fruit, not just one month out of the year, it has fruit all 12 months of the year. 12 manner of fruits. I have a sister who's living in this heavenly city already. She got to go there ahead of the rest of us. Hey, she's having more fun and pleasure than you have ever had. My wife and I are looking forward to seeing our two little babies that died up in heaven. Here on earth we have good days and we have bad days. Hey, they have not had a bad day yet. They're not going to have a bad day. The Bible says there's no more pain, no more tears, no more crying, no more death. There'll be fullness of joy and pleasure forever. It's not a dark and dirty city. It is a bright city. I cannot show you how bright it is. Jesus said, Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Did you hear? If you go to heaven, you'll shine like the sun. Man, the sun is so bright, you don't want to look right at it. You go to heaven, you'll shine like the sun yourself. But Jesus said, it's a narrow way and a narrow gate, and only a few are on that way to life. You see, just a few people are going God's way. God said, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, you know, a lot of times we have not, we, we have not even thought about what others want. We, we've thought about what we wanted. When I was a boy, sometimes I'd fight the other boys at school, especially if they're littler than I was. Was I loving my neighbors myself? No, I wasn't. Uh, sometimes I've said things that hurt others. I wasn't thinking about them. I was just thinking about myself. God said, love your neighbors yourself. Just a few were going God's way. I remember one time when I was just a little boy, I was bad about stealing. I'd get something. Mom would say, did you take that? I would lie to her. She would give me a hiding. And she did something else, too. She not only spanked me, she made me copy a bunch of Bible verses about lies and the punishment of lying. I still remember one of those verses I had to copy. The Word of God says all liars 
shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Man. The Bible says the smoke of their torment rises up forever and ever, and they have no rest, day or night. Now, I did not like the writing assignment Mom gave. I didn't like the spanking. But I'm glad Mom loved me enough to tell me the truth and give me fair warning. Because Jesus often warned about the fire. In Matthew chapter 25, he called it everlasting fire. Also, he called it, in Matthew 25, everlasting punishment. Man, I don't know anything that hurts worse than fire. One time I burned myself, maybe just a half a second on my wrist. Man, it was burning and sore for days. This is not just for a few seconds. It's not just for a few days. Jesus called it everlasting fire, everlasting punishment. Now, why would there be so few people going the Lord's way, so many people on this wide road? Well, one reason is <clears throat> people are so stubborn. You ever seen <clears throat> somebody stubborn? Maybe mom is calling her little boy. Of course, little girls can be pretty stubborn, too. <clears throat> she says, come here. I'm not going to do it. Stubborn. You ever see somebody stubborn? Let me ask this question. Did you ever see somebody stubborn and it was in the mirror that you saw that stubborn person? You see, the truth is we have all gone our own way. We've turned everyone to his own way, the word of God says. And God was calling us to his way. It just was It's crazy. Just going our own stubborn way when God is calling us to fullness of joy and pleasure forever. And so God says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord for he'll have mercy. You see, I used to just go my own selfish, stubborn, dishonest way. But I finally caught on to the Lord's kindness and I turned to Jesus for mercy. Now God has done a lot of good things for us to help us turn from our own way. The Bible says the goodness of God leads you to repentance. God has done a lot of good things to help us see that we ought to be going His way instead of our own dumb way. But the best thing He ever did was to give His own Son. And the best thing Jesus ever did was to give His own life. You cannot love someone more than to give your life for them. And that's exactly what Jesus did when He died on the cross. He took our punishment on the cross so we would not have to take our own punishment in the lake of fire. And so by his death on the cross, his burial, his resurrection, Jesus has made a way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is the way. He's the only way. Another place he said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Have you come to Jesus? He's the door. That's how you can be saved. Have you come to Jesus? He's the way. Or are you still just going your own way? Let me tell you about a man who was on that wide road until Jesus rescued him. This true story begins when Jesus and his disciples were out at sea. It was so stormy, the disciples thought they'd all drown. So much water had splashed into the boat. Jesus calmed the storm down. He showed his Lord of the wind and the weather, but when he got to shore, he showed his Lord even of the angels, the demons, the spirits. Here's what happened. A wild man came running toward Jesus. I say wild, hey, this guy was wild. He had unclean spirits in him. The guy was filthy. Probably smelled bad. He was wild, so wild, they, people chained him up. The man would break the chains. He had supernatural powers. Hey guys, 